Hey guys, it's Destiny, and today I wanted to showcase Firefly in the new endgame mode and just share my thoughts on the endgame mode in general. But before we get into today's video, let me know one of your favorite shows. And lastly, if you guys enjoy videos like these, do make sure to subscribe to win your next 50-50 and also hit the like button to support the video. Now, let's get straight into it. So here we have the new endgame and honestly, this endgame is really fun. It has some similarities to Pure Fiction. For example, you're able to pick one of these buffs for your team while you are fighting the boss in this mode. And the boss will also have additional traits that actually make it a little more difficult to actually clear it. So it's just really cool because the boss is basically an enhanced version of itself with just a bunch of traits that make the battle pretty unique and fun and then of course there will be i guess what you can consider like a turbulence how like pure fiction and moc have one and for this one it's mentioning when an enemy with steadfast is weakness broken you'll recover skill points for our allies and activate their ultimates and you're also going to have more weakness break damage received by the enemies and additional super break damage so this is going to be a really good one when it comes to our break centric characters for sure and i I definitely wanted to show off Firefly. I'm gonna use her on both sides just to see what she could do. And while we play this mode, I can explain some things regarding the mode on just like, I guess what makes it unique and fun in my opinion, as well as just like some differences from Pure Fiction and MOC. So here we have Kokolia. I've actually, I don't think I've ever beaten up Kokolia as of recently. I don't even know if I usually beat her up in my showcases, but today is a day Kokolia. You are now on the hit list. You don't have to do this. It is your time. And we're just literally gonna slam on her right there we're just gonna have firefly technique with the fire weakness i freaking love this technique it is just so freaking good so right off the bat we're gonna get attacked but the game mode does tell you to defeat the summoned enemies to weaken the boss so what we're gonna do is target japard right here and if you guys look right above this icicle thing that kakoya summoned we do have instead a remaining action value so instead of us having cycles we have action value instead and it'll keep ticking down the more actions we take. So it's basically just like, how fast can you clear this? Which I think is really fun, honestly. So what we're gonna do is just, honestly, we're just gonna focus a bit more on Japard and we are gonna use Firefly's ultimate here. And I freaking love this ultimate, it's so freaking cool. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna attack in the middle because if I attack in the middle twice, then we're actually able to break the summon to the left of Kokolia. So we are gonna get a hit a bit. And as you guys can see, we are definitely taking a bit of damage so i feel like unless you clear it really fast you more than likely will want a sustain in this mode so with koya we're just gonna basic attack and now with gallagher oh yeah we could actually break this summon right here and then we can use his ultimate bam and now the summon's gone Ooh, we are so close to breaking japard but honestly i want to weather down japard so that when firefly attacks i think she can break both of them also thankfully we resisted that um freeze right there that would have been annoying so we did get attacked a couple times there and it did mention i believe in one of the buffs that the boss has kokolia will be actually able to follow up attack which is pretty crazy so now we have firefly and we're gonna easily be able to break kokolia here bam we're gonna be able to do more damage and now because she got weakness broken we're gonna be able to get our ultimates so i'm just gonna take advantage of this just to immediately attack again we could just do more damage to kokolia a bunch of super break damage for sure and let's just keep basic attacking honestly yeah we're just gonna we can just keep attacking Kokolia and unfortunately we don't have any elements to actually deal with the summon over here otherwise I would have probably focused on breaking them more but honestly I don't really feel like not focusing on Kokolia to break them especially because Kokolia is actually almost a goner we're gonna use our skill with trailblazer since our super break should be amped up yeah that's a lot of super break damage Okay, there we go. I think this will allow us to go in the second phase. Yeah, we're already in the second phase. Okay, this is really nice. Kokolia is transforming and this is so freaking cool. Like I love this mode. It's just so much fun just like fighting the boss and it having like these enhanced things that make it stronger. Okay, they are like ultra focused on Ruame. Holy crap. With Ruame though, we got to reactivate our skill so we get that weakness breaking efficiency and we are going to get attacked, but I hope everything is fine. Yeah, okay, we're good. We're going to use Trailblade 
trailblazers. Oh my gosh, wait, it's like snowing around us in the ultimate. You guys like saw all that snow and stuff? I'm sorry, I, that, that's probably so minuscule. It was just so cool. I didn't even notice that. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's break this summon next to her. Gallagher is also about to get his ultimate, which is pretty good. Okay, um, we could just basic here. So Firefly's ultimate does go down, but because we weakness broke Kakolia earlier, we actually have an ultimate immediately again. So that's really good in this mode. So what we could do is just, let's see. Let's just attack in the middle just to weather down Kakolia a bit. With Rame, we're just, I guess, gonna basic attack. Rame, honestly, oh sh**. I used that too early. I literally used that way too early. I didn't mean to do that because he was already about to have a turn. <laughs> Okay, don't do that, you guys. I look at where your Gallagher is on the side. Because I, like, fat-fingered that. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm going to click it. And I accidentally clicked it too fast. But it's fine. We all make mistakes. Wouldn't let that shit happen to me, though. But what we're going to do now is just keep focusing on the middle here. We are going to break that summon next to her. And now the summon's gone. And unfortunately, we can't really break anyone just yet. So we are going to get hit here. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. She's attacking a lot. All the things I've learned. All the things I've applied aren't helping me. Oh my gosh. Wait, she has so many attacks back to back. Holy moly. Okay, we can actually break her though. And now we're gonna get our ults again. Okay, I'm not gonna use Gallagher's ultimate early again. I learned my lesson, okay? I'm not gonna click. I'm not gonna fidget click it, okay? We're just gonna basic attack. And now we're just gonna use our ultimate here with Gallagher. Should be able to do a lot of damage, actually. Yeah, those super breaks are crazy. And I think this is actually GG's Kokolia. And if you guys look, we have remaining action value, 1,698. So I'm gonna explain why this is really good in a moment or like why this number matters. So boom, Kakolia, you have been sent to the Shadow Realm. I'm sorry. She literally got frozen. She's a goner. Okay, so as you guys can see, we get 2,000 points for defeating the boss. And then what gets added onto that is the remaining action value. So if we click quit real quick, just so we take a look-see. So as you guys can see to the left over here, we have a star target, which this is how we're going to get all our stellar jades. So we have 4,000 points, 500 and 2,000 points. What did he Right. And 600 and 600. 500 to 5,000. Oh my god. These are the goals. So basically how I just got 3.6 thousand points from the first side fighting Kokolia. That means I would only have to have in the second side, I would just have to clear it and then have a remainder of 1,000 action value to be able to get the star target. So side one would basically be 3.6 and then side two, if we had 1,000 action value left, we would be at 3,000 and that would be enough to actually get the full stars on this mode. Mode. Speaking of the full stars though, let's actually swap these two and see what happens. So let's do our swap. For this side, I'm just going to use the first buff since this buff will increase our break effect. And also after dealing super break damage, we're going to have our speed increased as well. The other buffs are also pretty good, honestly. I really like how it basically took this a bit from pure fiction, how you can pick a buff. And this really helps out for sure when it comes to like clearing the mode in general. And I could definitely see this mode getting more and more challenging. But just right off the bat, I could tell Boot Hill is going to be really good in this mode especially on this argenti side but technically he could be really good on the kokolia side too because of the fact he can implant kokolia with the physical weakness as well but yeah let me just play this first side off screen and then we will be back with the second side so here we have the second side and on the second side we are getting to beat up argenti again yes oh shit here we go again. I've only been up Argenti like once. So I'm pretty excited. We get to beat him up again. I feel so bad. I shouldn't be feeling that good about getting to beat up Argenti, but whatever. We're going to be doing this second side. Same thing as before. We have that remaining action value. We are going to get attacked though right off the bat. And that is a bunch of attacks. Okay, so right out the bat, we are going to be breaking his little summons as much as we can. Okay, we're actually getting our ultimates pretty quick here, but that's fine. Um, We're going to use Rame's ultimate here just because of the fact that i do want firefly to be able to take advantage of this so what we could do is actually break the summon next to him so there we go and i'm just gonna try to break both of them at the same time or rather defeat both of them so that that's defeated we can just basic attack with rame for gallagher i'm going to be attacking the middle and thankfully gallagher's ultimate is just so freaking good for being able to help with weakness breaking so we're just gonna use gallagher on the middle here we're gonna get hit again but it's fine we actually are going to be able to break the summon to the right so now our 
our Genty's gonna take a little bit more damage and we can actually break our Genty here with Harmony MC. We are gonna get our ults and now I'm just with Firefly, I'm just gonna use my skill, do a bunch of damage. With Ruame, I'm just gonna reapply the ultimate here. There you go. And we could just basic attack with Gallagher, same thing. I'm pretty sure we can actually knock out our Genty. Let's see, maybe? Or really close? Yeah, really close. Okay, so there we go. We're just gonna knock out our Genty. Now we're on the second wave already. He's going to be doing more summons. And these summons are actually protecting him. As you guys can see, I actually can't attack our Genty until I defeat these summons here. But what's really nice, because of Firefly, we're just literally going to break three of them all at the same time. So there we go. And now with Rame, let's reapply our buff. With Firefly, I'm actually gonna... Ah, no, we could just attack the one in the middle. Because with Harmony MC, I can just attack that one all the way to the left okay so argenti is about to lose basically his barriers here so we can just use a skill there we go and now argenti is exposed with firefly i guess we could just use our ultimate again it kind of feels like a waste because we were about to go anyway but that's i guess just how the ultimate came up so we're gonna do now we could just keep attacking argenti we have to wither down that toughest meter as fast as we can so with harmony mc we're just gonna basic attack here we are gonna get hit we are gonna take a bit of damage but we're fine he's going to summon more oh my goodness oh now they have shields oh wow we're actually like we have aggro now so we can only attack the one that we're focused on okay that's a pretty cool mechanic for sure there we go okay so okay now we can pick who we want i'm gonna break these right here so i'm gonna break these summons now we have the barrier okay that's really useful oh all right, so we can only attack the one on the far right, but it's fine. And now with Firefly, I'm going to just attack the middle here. There we go. We did get more barriers. And with Ruame, we can reapply the ultimate and then use her skill. So let's use her skill. Harmony MC, same thing. We're going to have to reapply the ultimate here. We're just going to basic attack. But what I could do is break our Genty with our skill. There we go. Boom. And now we're actually going to get our ultimates again. Honestly, I'll just use my skill here and then I'll just go right back back into it with my ultimate so now we have our enhanced and i think this is actually ggs argenti is unfortunately about to get a blade to the face dual blades actually oh my gosh i love this animation so much yeah <laughs> argenti is a goner and there we go we cleared the second side i'm not gonna lie firefly is really good with dealing with those summons because she can just implant the fire weakness and then just deal with them pretty easily when it comes to breaking those toughness meters on the summons so that could definitely help out with clearing fast and then getting a higher score so for my builds here is firefly we're just gonna go through her stats real quick Here's her light cone. She is using her signature, but you can easily use on the fall of an Aeon. This is a really good free to play alternative on her. Her traces, they are maxed out. For relics, she is using the new relic and planar set. This will be her best relic and planar set. For Adalon, she is E0. I have not activated any of these. Here is Ruan Mei. For her light cone, she is using past self in the mirror, but you can use memories of the past. You can also use a light cone like meshing cogs, which can help with getting more energy for your ultimate. For the traces, she is maxed out. For relics, we are using the messenger and Talia set, the messenger just for more speed. For Eidolons, she is also E0. And if you don't have Ruame, some characters you can use as potential alternatives could be Asta. You could also consider a character like Pela. But Ruame and Harmony MC will of course be Firefly's best allies for right now that might change in the future who knows but for right now these two are definitely the powerhouses when it comes to just break centric teams in general so here's harmony mc We are using Memories of the Past. For Traces, they are maxed out. For Relics, we are using Watchmaker and the Von Clack set. The reason I'm using the Von Clack set, or I guess Von Wack, I like calling it Von Clack though because it reminds me of a duck, but the reason I'm using this set is so that Harmony Trailblazer could technically be faster than Firefly so that they can use their ultimate really early in the fight so that Firefly is able to immediately take advantage of the super breaks from Harmony MC. For Eidolons, they are E6. For Gallagher, here is Gallagher's stat. He is using the quid pro quo light cone. You can also use the what is real light cone. For traces, he is 10, 10, and 7 for his basic. For relics, we have passerby of wandering cloud. This could be really nice on your healers in general, just if you need more skill points. I like having that additional skill point in the beginning, especially because Firefly is pretty skill point heavy since you want to skill with her pretty often. And if she is really fast, which she should be because of how much she gets from her ultimate, and then depending on how you build her, then you will be using a lot of skill points 
friends with her in particular. For Fleet of the Ageless, I'm using this just for more attack for the team. For Eidolons, this Gallagher is E6. And I have been getting questions about Gallagher in particular. Do you need Gallagher? And the answer is no. I would just recommend if you don't use Gallagher, I would personally recommend using another sustain that is more skill point positive for the same reason I listed as to why I use the passerby set. Having those additional skill points is just really handy. Having a character that can help regenerate skill points will always be useful. Of course, you do have Harmony MC and Ruame. They will occasionally skill. And in Gallagher's case, majority of the time, he honestly doesn't have to skill. Aventurian can be a really good option. He is really skill point positive. So is Luocha. Luocha is skill point positive. Honestly, overall, you just want to use a sustain that doesn't use too many skill points and you should be good to go. The reason why I always recommend Gallagher though in particular is because of what he's able to offer for break centric teams in particular. Enemies are are going to be receiving 12% more break damage at level 10 with his talent. So this is really good. And once you use your ultimate, they will have the debuff applied onto them. And what's really nice is that his enhanced attack also has more toughness. As you guys can see, his basic attack is only 10, but then his enhanced basic attack will have 30. And then when you have a character like Raw Man on the team, this gets even higher. But yeah, that's why I personally like Gallagher. He's just really nice for being able to deal his own fair share of super break damage, especially because he is a more break centric system since he will have more outgoing healing and raw may plus harmony trailblazer will also be able to provide pretty nice break effect for the team as well but yeah that'll be it for today's video honestly i'm really liking this new end game mode i can't wait to see in the future when they rotate out these bosses just what creative things they can do when it comes to giving those bosses certain buffs and just how much they can mess with the bosses skill kits even further so it's gonna be pretty fun to see what they just do with these bosses i can't wait to see the next one and then i'll also be going over the next one as well just what characters seem to be pretty good for it and just showing that off but yeah for this one in particular that is coming up it will definitely be really nice to have break centric characters but characters that are also pretty nice that i've already played acheron is pretty nice in it and just characters that can break enemies pretty fast will be nice because of the fact that you will be able to get your ultimate back right away so shredding those toughness meters will definitely be your goal for sure but yeah that's just my thoughts so far i would say firefly is really really good for these two bosses in general but i do feel like in the future she'll also be pretty nice when it comes to the other bosses that you may face because of the fact that she can implant that fire weakness and then she can also break multiple enemies or rather multiple summons at once which can help you get closer to of course dealing with the main boss that you do have to defeat so yeah i think firefly is great for this mode she's really fast too so it can help you get faster clear times but yeah if you guys enjoyed this video do make sure to subscribe leave a like to support the video let me know what other videos you guys want me to make and i hope to see you all next time Peace.